I've been thinking, did y'all just get busted because how hard is it to get 99 precincts results? Probably pretty easy, right? All you have to do is open a Google Doc and then um, everyone has access to it and then they just add to the list until you have all 99. Or you can text someone. But no, we're going to call and wait on hold. Yeah, that's that's the way the government is. But is it... Okay, so there's this conspiracy. I thought I was part of it, but I'm still I'm still confused about being part of it. But what I do know is that the Supreme Court is all Catholic and Jewish. And that is, what, 25% of the population in the United States is the entire Supreme Court. And I come from a Protestant background. But I know that, like, we used to be Jewish. But I'm still confused. All right, so who controls watching the movie Head of State? I want to watch Chris Rock in Head of State. That's what it's called, not State of the Union. And... Um, I love that movie and um, I have to buy it from Amazon because Amazon has learned that like things I like can sometimes be profitable I think and that's why they track me so close so closely but I'm, I'm still confused here about um, you control that many servers okay what what people don't know about Amazon is they control everyone's computers like everyone's websites all these corporations but they tend to do it in the Linux department specifically and so basically their stock might be in big trouble because if we can figure, figure out a way to prove that Amazon is such a criminal organization as far as hacking goes, then um, that's going to hurt their stock. And they do own Washington Post and, they're, and, and, and they were the first to say Buttigieg won. They're really doing a great job of, of reporting on that. All right. So... What, um, who's seen the movie Newsies? Is Mark Zuckerberg beyond anything in the history of Newsies? Like, bullets are on hearse, they got their mama, do they got us? Mark Zuckerberg, you think you control us? Do you control us? That's, that's the real question. All right, so I'm, I'm doing a bad job of talking about this, but all I'm saying is, once you realize how few people control communications, um, so who used to control communications? AOL, Time Warner Cable, well, no, AOL, and MSN, right? Because uh, MSN Messenger. And then slowly it became Facebook. It, but Facebook, as it turns out, was not trustworthy because Mark Zuckerberg's not trustworthy. And he has a bunch of people that work with him. And everyone thinks the Israeli government is good. But what I'm telling you is the Israeli government um, doesn't know that. Do you know that Microsoft is better than Linux? But more than anything, they know that they depend on constantly getting money from the United States when the entire world hates us because we give them so much money and they use it to bomb people. And they use illegal bombs and stuff like that. But let's face it, in the event of a war, who cares if the bomb's illegal? Um, I don't, honestly. So anyways, let's think here. How much do Jewish people control the world? And do you, like, literally move massive amount of people to certain areas to control money that goes to Israel. Okay, I'm this is, but wow, would I agree to not have a single Jewish per person in my White House? Yeah, because they're 2% of the population anyway, so I mean, really, do they have to have be represented? Honestly, like, do I need a, a, a American Samoan? I don't. So um, how in the world they're like in charge of every administration? I mean, I do understand, but the big concern is once you realize that they're so in control of communications and they tend to vote together and bet together on stocks together. And that's why when Jeff Bezos, who naturally has the best business, um, is spread thin and he's invested in everyone else and he has to help them, it can, that, that can be the catalyst for destroying the stock market. But um, I'm confused about that. What I'm not confused about is that Amazon's not the government and they are a massive spy organization that uses, that also is, is very involved in our technology. But man, it was really confusing because I, I thought you guys stopped, but apparently you didn't. But Facebook is the real scary one because apparently 
Mark Zuckerberg is like that censoring the the, the social media while the media is already so is already censored, and I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do about it. This is this is pretty crazy. It's crazy that my mom's from Iowa when like now Iowa's not like that. Like they used to pick the president back in the day, and then now my mom's gone, and who picks it? The people that have moved in there, and that's one of the reasons I'm sure a lot of people didn't like. I said we should partner with Canada and move the capital to Vancouver. Um, part part of the reason for that is it's a similar it's similar to like we should move the primary away from Iowa because it's just it, it invites Jeff Bezos to have friends that have money of their own to invest in businesses to bring in a lot of people that are very very politically active. Um, and then we pick Pete Buttigieg and then Buttigieg has no idea what he's doing when he's actually in charge because he's trying to be in charge of something he doesn't even freaking understand because he doesn't even understand the situation he's in. And I'm just saying like, y'all are nuts. And it's unbelievable that the most trustworthy company is a Chinese company. And the reason they're trustworthy is because they know they're being spied on so much. And they're like, dude, I am, I'm going to be so strict about this company and I'm going to be for free speech because I know Facebook is not for free speech. And that's why TikTok exists, apparently. I had no idea. No idea that it's about another country wanting to have free speech in the United States. But also, they, they did a very good job coding it. So it's super safe. 